Hey y'all, Soul Squad and whoever may be listening to this. I want you to use your imagination. That's why it's light and dark. And it's story time. And this story is about a young lady by the name of Stacy. And the name of this book is called The Five Barrels. Imagine being a mom of three and a widow. This is Stacy's story. Stacy lost her husband out of the blue. One evening, while cooking dinner for her family, she heard a loud noise. Her children were all in the family room watching television. Her husband was in the garage. She yelled out to her husband from the direction where the noise came from. As she was walking towards it, as she opened the door to the laundry room to walk through the garage, she saw her husband down on the floor. She screamed in such a panic and disbelief. All the children came running in. Call someone, call 911, she shouted out to her children while talking to her husband, shaking him uncontrollably. Please, please be okay, John. John, wake up, baby. Oh, God. Unfortunately, John will never wake up. He has suffered a major stroke. Stacy had to do the one thing she never saw coming. She had to bury her husband. Her world was destroyed. She was devastated. This man was not only her husband, but her best friend, a good father to their children, and a great friend to so many people. So imagine how the kids felt losing their dad at a blink of an eye. Stacy planned a beautiful going away ceremony. The church was filled with so many friends and loved ones. After the funeral, she had so many decisions to make. Things was moving so fast. She didn't have time to really mourn her husband. She had to be strong for her children, their children. Stacy really didn't have much family. She had only one sister and their parents died when she was 13 in a car crash. Her and her sister was raised by their grandparents, her mom's mother and father. Stacy's sister, Monica, lived in New York. When she came for the funeral, she stayed a while to help out. The kids loved having their aunt there. It seems to make their mom happy. Monica stayed for six weeks and had to get back to work. She suggested to Stacy that her and the kids come with her. She said the kids only have a month left in school before they get out for the summer. I think the change would do all you guys some good. She told her, we'll think about it, said Stacy. Next, as the children's school year comes to a close for the summer, Stacy decided to take her sister up on her offer. With a lot of thinking over the past months, she came to a conclusion. She just doesn't need a... Y'all, y'all know I'm reading, so let me go up. I'm sorry. With a lot of thinking over the past month, she came to a conclusion. She just doesn't need a summer in New York. She decided to move the family. This was a big decision. When she told her sister and the children what the plan was, everyone was on board and so excited. Her sister even told her she could probably hook her up with a job at her real estate firm. Stacy's sister Monica works at one of the most prestigious real estate firms in the country, Master 
and master realtor. Years ago, before the children, Stacy used to be a realtor and she was very good. She has always kept her realtor license Karen. She was actually good at it. But when the children came, her and John had decided she would stay home with their children. And when she was ready, she can go back to work. Now with the loss of her husband, this is the perfect time to step up and give back in the midst of it all. John had left a decent amount of money for her and the kids. Money wasn't an issue. She needed to keep busy with her days. With all that in mind, Stacy made all the arrangements for moving. Her and the kids would take the drive from DC to New York. Meanwhile, in New York, there has been several cases of missing children in the last year. With so much, with, I'm sorry, y'all know I'm reading. <laughs> with so much going on, Monica had forgotten to mention this to Stacy. It's been all over the news. There are a total of four children missing, three girls and a boy. Three of the missing children are from the Brooklyn area and one from the Bronx. New York Police Department are doing their best but are not getting anywhere with the case. Next, Monica, Stacy's sister. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm reading, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Monica, Stacy actually is dating. Oh God, let me go back. Okay. And you know what? I'm reading this in real time, so I'm not going to like edit or do anything. I do wear glasses, so I'm trying to take my time and reading this. Okay. Monica, Stacy's sister, is actually dating the head detective who is working on the case, Detective Jake Bryant and his partner, Detective <laughs> Michael Jackson, which has a running joke around the precinct, hint the name Michael Jackson. Detective Jake and Michael was called into their captain office. Excuse me. Hey, Captain. What's up, fellas? Talk to me. Where are we at on these missing cases? Well, honestly, nowhere, Jake said. It's like the children just disappeared into thin air. Look, fellas. Look, fellas. The mayor is down my ass about this case. You guys got to solve this quick. Look, Captain, Michael said. We talked to the parents, the schools, the kids, friends. We talked to everyone and anyone who has contact with these kids. There's nothing, but we're not giving up. The captain stood up and told them, look. I'm, wait a minute. The captain stood up and told them, look hard. I don't care if you got to dig up dead relatives. Find me something. Now get out my office. As the two detectives was walking back to their desk, Jake's cell phone rings. It was Monica calling to remind him about their date tonight since he missed the last two. With so much going on with this case, Jake has been working late nights. Yeah, babe. I admit, Jake has been working. Jake, with so much going on with this case, Jake has been working late nights. Yeah, babe. I got you. Can't wait to see you. The same here, Monica said. Jake asked, how is your sister? She's good. I think the move will help them heal, said Monica. That sounds good, said Jake. Okay, babe, I gotta go. Love you. Love you too. Okay, guys, that is the first part 
of this story. I will be back. Um, this book is called The Five Barrels. Comment below what you think about the story. Um, what do you think may be going on with Stacy? Um, how her move is going to work out? Do you think she's going to find love again? Um, comment below. Do you like me reading the book to you guys? If so, I will continue this book. Um, to read this book to you guys and um yes and, and remember this is real time so if i'm stumbling stumbling i do apologize because i'm reading i wear glasses <laughs> and i'm trying to read you guys the story but yes this is called the five barrels and this story is about stacy and her children transitioning from um uh, having a dad in their life, a husband in their life, to her becoming a single parent just automatically out the blue. And we know things like that can happen. Um, but the book is very interesting. And um, I'm going to continue to read this to you guys and to the next, I guess, next chapter, next page.